Hey everyone, Sekiro is back once again. We are returning into the battle here, uh, ready to continue. In the last episode, sorry, just checking that I was actually recording. Yeah, we kind of got to Ashina Castle. Uh, I said I would do this dialogue here once we kind of got back into it. And this is this is where I start getting lost in the lore, but not really. This is the other gimmick of this game, the rejuvenating water. So they kind of had the same power. I'm just showing this because this is important. So yeah, um, this area was a bit of a tough one, wasn't it? And there are still two homies left unkilled, which is about to change right now. It's good to get back into the combat system here. I used the wrong item. Shit, did I knock him out of it? Yes, I did. Fucking hell. I this guy is like straight up super armor. I hate these enemies. Okay, come on, do it again. Your ass will be Mikiried before you can even think. Straight up about to die. What I would do for this one item. Eat shit, bitch. God, I hate these guys. I picked up the item already by accident. I didn't even see what the hell it was. Okay, yeah, no, this is... We are returning right here. A tactical bonfire rest never hurts, believe me. It's a tactic as old as the series itself, and I do believe, yep, we have a tiny boss in our hands. There is some gimmick with this guy. Um, yeah, he does this. That's the thing he does. This fucking, like... I think this is one of the few rare um, enemies you have to dodge. Oh, he also has a slash. But he's not easy. But he's not easy. I mean, listen, there is no wonder they gave you a bonfire. Shit, that's a jump. Jump, bitch. No wonder they gave you a bonfire straight in front of him, like... They only do that if the boy is like real tough, and that's... I hate when he does the double one. That's... And that's the one I hate. This might be a one-hit strike type deal. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of HP, that's the thing about him, though. You just gotta get him out of the corner, too. You can't have this guy be in the corner, because it's just gonna screw you. See, that's... One screw up, and... He hurts. You change up your tactics, buddy. Ouch. Ouch. I like that. That was a brutal stab. Give me your money. And of course we have the E-liver. Reduces shock damage. Hint, hint by the game. That was a little bit of a hint, hint. 
as to what's coming up. Fuck, are we really up to Genichiro here? And we really are. That's... I mean, it's not bad, but... The bitches are signaling. But before we have like get ahead of ourselves, let's like get some more spirit emblems. Never hurts, and I guess that's it. Before we do anything else, I'm checking back here because I don't know if I didn't miss anything. No gourd seeds. Should we get her drunk? No, I said I would hold off on that. Check out Shinobi Boy. Let's see if we can upgrade something. We cannot. Alright then, fine, we'll get going here. Um, and that's. I mean, really, I mean, Genichiro technically is the third boss. You can go to Sempo Temple, but this is. A little bit more fuck I have my wrong I have the wrong controller with the broken okay let's do a cut here I don't even know how I managed to get grab the wrong one like clearly cool clearly this is the main controller man Emma is fucking fast the flash has nothing on her nothing This is a crazy boss. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable teleporting bitch. She's cheating. Hacking. He is as well, but I mean, technically, he is supposed to be here. Ouch, denied by a kid. We all know who he's talking about. Oh, cinematic. He waited for that, straight up. He waited for that to be dramatic, I swear. What a badass. This is like having an actual character as your main character is actually nice instead of a silent protagonist. Sounds good. So yeah, this is Lord Genichiro, boss number three. He's cool. Probably gonna take me a while because I've forgotten what he does. He does his little bow thing. Um, he's cool. I don't find him to be the hardest boss. Oh fuck, armor. Damn. Okay. So, about him not being that difficult. He still isn't. He still isn't. This is another boss they give you, like, easy access to. For good reason, I guess. A 
a fucking great sword. Not great sword, great bow. That's his like prosthetic tool. Because he doesn't have. Okay, let's get him out of there. Uh, it's not good if he's stuck in the corner like that. The thing about Genichiro is that you end up fighting him so many times throughout the entire game. I don't know what the hell move was that. Was that his grab? That you like really learn his attack pattern. I think that is, that is a grab, right? That does a lot of posture damage. Shit! I thought he would break first. I mean, he's... He's near broken. Told you! Shrugs it off. <laughs> Ouch. Jesus. Yeah, you need to work on your fucking... Aim there, boy. See, when you get this fight going, getting the rhythm of it, it can be absolutely perfect. I didn't know Shinobi Firecrackers worked on him this well. I don't think I used it on my first attempt. I mean, my first playthrough. This is a cool boss fight. Yep. Heresy. Fucking heresy? Seriously? Get the space marines here. Oh shit, yeah, he has a third phase, doesn't he? I, I knew, I, I remembered he has a third phase. Yeah, three phase boss fights are fairly common in this game. And I'm fucking out of healing items too. Because I've been like reckless as fuck. I thought he only had a, a third phase on the... Whatever. I'm not going to make any sense here because... Because I'm concentrating too much. The thing about this phase, though, is that he's kind of a pushover. You know, they kind of went light because obviously. Obviously, you know, you don't want to throw the player off too much, and he's dead. This is very anime here. This game has to be sometimes. And there goes Genichiro. Obviously we're never gonna see him again. Look at this trick. Ha! Fuck that's bright. Okay, hold on a little bit. Because it's kinda getting dark out.
cool. We swore vengeance. We executed vengeance or something like that. Motherfucker, this is bright. Something like that. Okay, cool. Blood sw and we get ninjutsu, which is like another set of skills. Cool. Get those after you execute enemies. Easy. End of the game, obviously. We rescued the kid. Nothing else left to be done. You know how it'd be. This is a short game. Yeah, he drank that Kool-Aid already. This bitch is immortal. God, that's so anime. <laughs> that is the most anime. Edgy. Very edgy. This guy is kind of an edgy ball, though. I mean, look at his hair and being like all scarred and shit. Lightning behind him. God damn. So long. So long. He did a, he did a Batman, you know. And now we're going to have and be prepared for an absolute metric fuckton of dialogue. Um, there's gonna be a lot of like main story content here, which I will try to sum up. Uh, or we could sit here. I don't wanna just force you to sit here. Cool. Oh yeah, we need to do the reflections of strength. Not not that. We need to do enhanced attack power. Born a peasant, Genichiro Ashina was taken in by the uh, by the Ashina after his mother's death. With his <coughs> excuse me, with his country on the brink of defeat, Genichiro took to her blah 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 blah. Cool. Nice attacku power. Let's see if we can get anything juicy. I don't know what to get. Um uh, we'll we'll think on this a little bit. Question. I mean, you were eavesdropping, so that's not too big of a mystery, is it? See, now we connect to the beginning. I like Ishin because he's like almost set up to be a villain, but he's kind of not. Gonna get to see our kid again. And again, like Dark Souls 3 levels of bonfire placement, uh, but ignore that. Yeah, I think they put this here because this area needs quite a bit of resetting sometimes. Alright, let's go ahead and speed run this dialogue. So, summing up to this point. He wants to sever his little immortality because it causes everything to turn shitty, unfortunately. Yeah, causes men to go hollow. And this is the point where you have to... Fuck, there's something like... 
Yeah, you he cannot break the iron code yet because he's so like samurai or shinobi-ish. So you have to pick the second one. I I didn't like I didn't fucking know what the hell you were supposed to do here. I thought first time here I thought like you need to do something else before. <laughs> Two, three times. It's been a couple of more than that. I think it's the second option. See, now we're friends again. We are never not friends. Now he's gonna explain how to do it. He's gonna send us to Sampo, right? A book from Kuro on the art of severing ties with the dragon's heritage. Very convenient, right? Yeah, Fountainhead Palace, yeah. Yeah, you, you knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Okay, so we need to look at this bong here. Apparently, it's significant. Lord Takeru. You know how he did it. You know, you know what we mean. That fountainhead can be anything. Listen, they're legalizing mushrooms too in the US, so all good. Although I, I feel like Japan is a bit more restrictive. Yeah, we need to talk to Ishin. And then he's gonna, of course, help like a little nerd by reading books. Uh, while we gotta do the dirty work. He's slow as hell, too. Okay, that's a little bit... I'm in his personal space, but that's okay. Yeah, we got sm these night jars as well. Gotta follow the smoke to Lord Ishin. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna get fucking demonetized with all these suggestive drug references here. Cool. So we need to talk to Ishin and we're gonna be an asshole and let the cold air in. So let's go ahead and do this. It's actually kind of fairly difficult to find. Oh no, no he's not. I'm confusing it with something else. Or there was one point where I was an absolute idiot and I couldn't find him. What up Ishin? This guy's a badass. <laughs> like he just comes in here, doesn't even introduce himself. Just jump in about the divine air. 
Let's get blasted. I really like this guy, Ishin. I mean, he just looks. He looks like Pai Mei from Kill Bill. The butterflies flying around kind of ruined the effect, but whatever. If you haven't guessed, our name is Sekiro. I mean, that was, I think, obvious to figure out. Should I? Let's ask him first. The good old moron blade. Where can I find this moron blade which we need to kill the immortals? Sampo Temple. So yeah, and here we have our two little objectives, either go to Sampo to get the Moron Blade or go to the Fountainhead and all that. This is kind of like the divergent path here. Yeah, let's have an Ashina Sake with Ishin. Yeah, he likes getting blasted. I mean, he's dying, so it's like... Go ahead. And he's gonna tell us some grandpa stories. <laughs> I love this guy's voice actor too. I mean, you gotta go for the Japanese voices. If you don't, I don't even know, man. I could go up for some sake, actually, now that he mentions it. So basically, they were conquered. Uh, Let's listen to him some more. When the master talks, you gotta shut up and respect him. Ain't gonna hesitate, don't worry. Too scared of this guy too. Cool. Badass. I like Ishin. So, I think we have our little quests. Uh, and we have the second half of the game coming up. Um, as we slowly start to wrap up this episode here, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Fucking hell. Okay. That was unintentional uh, I'm gonna find my way back because that was embarrassing and yeah shit I don't even know where the hell I am cool we'll kind of get out of this pickle by the next episode you, all right I'm gonna cut there because I fucked up my outro if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications the usual take care everyone and see you next time
Peace out.